It's been over a year since Kathy Novak woke up in the ICU because of COVID-19. I shouldn't have been at high risk and I got it. We spoke with her last spring and again today about her ongoing recovery. I feel like my both my brain and my body have aged 10 years. She has trouble focusing and suffers from depression and it's an all too common experience. A new study published in The Lancet examined the medical records of 230,000 COVID patients. Researchers found that six months on, one third had a neurological or psychiatric diagnosis, the most common anxiety and depression. Fortunately, the neurologic diagnoses like stroke, brain hemorrhage and dementia again were much rarer, but they were certainly commoner after COVID than they were after the other illnesses we compared it to. Like the flu and other respiratory illnesses. Scientists say it's not exactly clear why more COVID patients suffered from a stroke or dementia, but say it's likely due to the fact that the virus can infiltrate the brain and the body's immune response to it can affect blood clotting. A more common complaint from those who've had COVID is that some develop a brain fog, which can last for months. That's Susie Golding's experience, which is why she's been seeing an occupational therapist. I feel myself like I'm an 87-year-old woman living a, a life with dementia, trying to get through my day as best as I can with these terrible memory lapses that are happening. Golding says the government needs to do more to help those suffering from the lingering effects of COVID, and medical experts say it will be a challenge to meet the demand. We don't have that many neurologists in Canada. We don't have that many psychiatrists in Canada. We're going to need a team effort to do this. Because as the number of cases grow, it means more Canadians with COVID will be in need of follow-up care. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.